Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery Budgie. My name is Gina and this is Miss Bonnie Faye. You want to say hi, Miss Bonnie Faye? She's like, no, I want the bird. <laughs> y'all, I thought they were gonna bust through and get a squirrel earlier today. Oh my goodness. I just heard this big old bang and I looked up and I saw the, uh, the squirrel's tail flipping and the cat's just mm, trying to get it. But yeah, they can't get through the screen. Well, they could, they just have to bust it out, which they've done before. Anyway, so today I have a wantable edit. Uh, this is one of their specialty edits. If you don't know what wantable is, it is a try before you buy clothing subscription. They send you seven items to try on for five days. You have a $20 styling fee. If you purchase anything, that $20 styling fee will be credited back to you. And if you want to try wantable, there is a link below. They they have, like I said, this is a specialty edit, but they do have style edits, active edits, and edits for men if you wanna try them. This is the resort style edit. Yes, I was feeling it. I was, I'm ready for winter to be gone. I'm ready for the pool. I'm just, you know, I wanted to step away from the sweaters for a minute and see what they would send me. So that's what this is. Um, I'm really excited to see what's in here. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it says. They do offer exchanges if you want to do that, or you can just return what you don't want. Available sizes may be limited, but they will work hard to bring more of every, more options every single day. Okay. Just reading the email they sent to me. Let's open the box. It's a little beady box this time, y'all. So I don't know what that's all about. I like the little personal touch of the sticker saying it was styled for me. And here we go. So they send you a pre-labeled bag that you can take to UPS. You put your returns and your exchanges in here. Send it back after you check out online. Let's see what it says about style resort edit. Limited time vacate vibes. And on the back of this, they do have an actual uh, U USPS. If you just wanna take it to the post office, you can just adhere this one to the box and send it back that way. You don't wanna make a special, special trip to UPS. And I like that they give you that option. Let's see, hey Gina, look at you. The vibe is vacay and I got you. Get ready to slay in the latest spring resorts of 2021 style. From plain comfies like stretchy bottoms and tops to match, and light and lovely layers that say beach please, it's all in your edit. As always, you have five days to try. Be sure to let me know and check out which styles you love. I hope you enjoy this edit, whether you're jetting off or just dreaming of vacay. I know you'll shine bright. Take care. And my stylist today was Amber. There's a little picture of Amber. I think that's cute. I love being able to put a face with my stylist. Let's get into the clothing and see what they sent me. Oh, I'm excited. Now, if only I could afford a resort vacation. <laughs> yeah, I spent too much money on subscription boxes for that such thing. All right, this is pretty. It is bright. It is beachy, sunny, fun. And it is a kimono. I still gotta get with my girlfriend. We never did try to make kimonos. We kind of got sidetracked, you know, sick and getting, they're getting older and we kind of have fallen off of our sewing, but I think they'd be easy to make. Very cute, very beachy, very fun. This is the Saatchi, S-A-A-C-H-I, intricate paisley kimono in pink. It is one size, it's $49 which I don't really love paying $49 for a kimono, but this is pretty soft. It's short in the front though and long in the back. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll have to try it on and see. You don't see the back? It's really pretty. All right, moving on. Oh, I'm sorry. She can't stand it when I call for sneeze or anything like that. She has to leave whenever I do, which has not been easy with us being so sickly lately. Um, all right, this is Echo. Oh my goodness. What is it? 
Y'all, what is this thing? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it's It's got a hole here, and it's got a hole here where it ties. And it's, okay, and it's got a hole here. So you must put your hands, and it's just see-through. Let's see, what is it? Echo Floral Handkerchief Hem Dress in Leaf Green, one size, $59. So it looks like, on the picture, I know y'all can't see it. It looks like it has straps on a hanger. I'm not seeing no straps. I mean, maybe if it was tied looser. So I guess, what? A bathing suit cover up? Call it a dress. Man, that would be, that, that'd be a dress right there. <laughs> it's just a handkerchief. This is not really white. It's more of like a pinky, very light blush, very cute. I think it's a pretty pattern. I just, what would you put under it? I don't even know. Oh, y'all, look, a hat. I figured they would send some sort of hat. I love these little straw hats. I enjoy wearing them when I'm out around my pool. Um, don't know that I love this one though. Let's see what it says. This is Echo Statement Border Sun Hat in Hibiscus. It is normally $49. It's on sale for $24.50, which is a lot more reasonable for a hat. And it does have on the inside a strap where you can actually adjust it to fit you a little tighter. Let's just let's just put it on. Oh my bad. It stays in your face. How would you get it? To I guess that's part of the resort you had your face yeah it, it really needs a little more shaping but oh my goodness fun Let's move on. oh this is lovely i do like shirts like this just a nice white with the buttons it does have a tie which isn't always my favorite thing but i do enjoy this this is the uh 78 and sunny i've gotten this brand before from them this is a redondo beach tank in bright white size large 52 dollars. which 52 dollars is a little expensive for a tank but i do like the button detail on it it is cute we'll try it on and we'll see can y'all see it it's right there on the feeder so i really wasn't taking i wasn't feeding them as much as usual so they're not as many out there as usual but i did we did go out and feed them the other day we finally felt good enough to go out there and feed them oh this is soft this is recreation i love this it's it says it's tinsel but it feels cottony um it says it feels so right this is a thread and supply linnell tea and nostalgia rose i love this color it is a large which is a 10 to 12 it's 38 dollars. which i actually i don't know i may be inclined to pay that i have something very similar even has the cuffs on it but i think it's too big now so i don't know this is a good possibility i like it what are you shorts oh my goodness i don't know if i'm ready to try on shorts i may be blinded by the light you know what i mean no tan <laughs> so these are liver liverpool paper bag tie waist shorts and mall plush size 10 they are 79 dollars. that is a lot for a pair of shorts um mm, i don't know we'll try them on i do prefer a longer short just because of my insecurities but we'll, we'll try them on we'll see what we think they're still a little expensive and the last thing on here are Silver Jean and Co. These are the Elise Bermuda and Indigo, size 30, $64. Now, a Bermuda, that's a little more up my alley. So, very cute. I haven't worn several silver jeans in a long time. I used to wear them all the time. Something about this is supposed to eliminate the muffin top. I don't know. We'll see about that. Oh, a couple 
stickers out there. I love to do woodpeckers. Anyway, so I don't know that I absolutely love these. Can y'all see that? It looks like a circle. I don't know what why it's done like that. Anyway, we will try them on. These are turned up once, but they are not sewn. So I'll show you my outfit of the day and I'll try this stuff on for you tomorrow so you will get to see another outfit. Um, what do y'all think? How do you think that resort box went? I, I don't know what I was expecting, but now that I think about it, yeah, that's kind of right. You know, what would you wear at a resort? You'd wear shorts and you'd wear tank tops, you'd wear floppy hats and you'd wear kimonos. So yeah, I think it's right. Um, fun. We'll see how it goes. Y'all don't forget to press the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe, please, please. I know that like 70% of the people who watch my videos haven't subscribed yet and it would really mean the world to us if you did. It would help my channel out so very much. Don't forget to share with your friends. You can share the videos on social media, email, text, all that good stuff and get the word out and help me grow the channel. I appreciate that so very much. And don't forget to press that notification bell that lets you know when I'm printing, putting out new videos. I know I have a Valentine's collab coming up. I have a March collab coming up. So those will probably come out at different times than what y'all are used to. I'm so excited, y'all. Oh my goodness. I hope y'all love it. I will see y'all back in a second. All right, y'all, so here is today's outfit. My top and my Cardi both came from Stitch Fix. Aren't they just cute? And my denim came from Amazon. These are Democracy? Yes, these are Democracy. I had to look and see if they had the little D on the back. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Anyway, so that's what I'm wearing today. Oh, my earrings. I think I got these from Mint Mongoose. Libby of the day. The outline is in um, a Sephora liner, and the inside, the pink, is actually the Morphe Disney Collection goody goody. What is the name of that liner? The liner is Bellflower. So that's the lippy of the day. Let's try some clothes on. So this outfit is pretty appropriate because today it's almost 70 here, even though they're calling for an ice storm this weekend and everybody's in panic. But yeah, this is a beautiful resort outfit. I mean, I don't know that I'm in love with this hat. I had to flip it up to keep it from flopping down in my face. But pretty cute. I mean, the top is cute. I like the button detail. It does seem to be wanting to turn just a little bit. And, you know, the military brat in me is like wanting it to be straight. <laughs> um, the shorts are comfortable. I like the length of them. Actually, this is not bad. Then we'll take this hat off now. <laughs> it's very distracting. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try to put, I'm gonna put some of the kimono and put such things over this outfit. I'll be right back. I still don't know if I get this one. I mean, yeah, it's fun, it's flowy. It would be great over a bathing suit at the resort. Am I supposed to wear it up high like this or am I supposed to lower it? Let's lower it and look. I pulled it down pretty low just so we could see what it looks like. And the shirt underneath is pretty distracting from what it is. But any bathing suit you wear is going to be like that, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know if this is my favorite thing. It is really pretty. If you had a little slip dress, I think it would be cute. I think you could make it look cute. I mean, you can have, you can put it to any length you want. Make it a cute little dress with the proper attire under it. Let's move on. <laughs> very, very bright, very bold, very fun. You know, I wasn't sure how I would feel about it being short in the front and long in the back but I actually kind of think it shows my figure a little more that way. I'm not really sure how, but it just, it kind of shows me off a little more. It still conceals where you want it to conceal, but it does show that I'm not yay wide. You know what I mean? It is kind of cute. 
and it would match a lot of different colors. Cute with this outfit. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about this. Y'all don't forget to comment below and tell me what you think of all these outfits, what you like and what you don't like. And while you're down there, I'd love it if you press all the buttons, the like, subscribe, share, notification bell, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it if you do. Let me try the next outfit on. So I forgot to point out the kids. You have Miss Callie Cat who wants to eat the birdie and Miss Bonnie Faye who's just enjoying watching. Uh, the windows are open so we may have a catastrophe here soon. <laughs> she wants that little bird. There's a little um, chickadee right outside the window. So this top, very cute, very fitted, very slimming. I like this one. I knew I would like this one. It's right up my alley. I wear this kind of stuff a lot. I think it's great underneath things. It's just a nice color on me. What do y'all think? Is it too clingy? Because I know these pants can kind of show the full fuh. Last pair of pants. Now the thing that gets me about these is they're so close to my flesh tone. Y'all you know, don't have a tan right now, but that worries me. It makes me feel like it would look like I wasn't wearing any pants from a distance. And you know, looking out back, you can't tell I have neighbors, but I do have neighbors on each side and all in front of me. So they can see me um, and going out, of course. I don't care for the whole paperboy waist thing of it. I don't know that I'd be running around with something tucked in, maybe if I was wearing it over a one piece bathing suit. And this I did not, uh, cause that would drive me crazy. That, that would just drive me crazy. I know it would hanging down like that. Um, and it's not something you can even take off. I would have to tuck it. And that wouldn't work. Let's just, it wouldn't work. I like the pockets. I actually like the length. I was afraid they would be a little short and want to ride up. They are still a little short. You can see all my stretch marks, just ignore that part. But they're cute. I just probably won't keep them. Let's do a review. So what did y'all think of the style resort edit? Y'all, it does make me want to really want to go to some beachy resort with infinity pools and a big ocean past the pool. I would love to go somewhere like that. I actually have never been. Closest thing I've been is on a cruise. But oh it did it did give that vibe for sure. Uh I really like this top. Like I said, it is very similar to some stuff I already have that I have sized out of. So I like the idea of being able to replace a top that I wore a lot and it being the proper size. You know what I mean? Um, $38, a little more than I really want to pay for it, but I'll probably keep this one. This is probably going to stay in my closet. It's just so soft and such a great every day or throw on under a kimono or even under a denim jacket anything it really is great these you know i'm gonna send back these ties that are not removable now if they had been re removable if i could have pulled this off then i might have thought about them but really this paper bag waist i have just never got into that trend it just never stuck with me and with them being so pale, I just don't know that I would reach for them. I know that a lot of people love these pale colored shorts. I just don't know that I'm that person. You know what I mean? So these are going to go back. They were $79. It's a good thing that they're going to go back. Um, the hat. I'm going to send the hat back. I've got floppy hats that I feel like suit me better even though it's really pretty with the pink band on it it's gonna go back this was on sale for $24.50 you can get one a lot cheaper at Walmart you know <laughs> I think that's where I get all mine now this I did kind of like it this would be a great when it is 95 100 degrees outside throw it on and still look cute kind of top um 
I don't really want to pay $52 for it. That is the only thing that's holding me back is that I don't know that I will pay that amount for it. Would you pay that amount for it? What do you think? This one I'm on the fence about. I do want to hear y'all's comments. Let me know because I, 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 need, I need the advice. <laughs> Moving on. This was pretty cute. I didn't think I was going to like it. And so I was pleasantly surprised that I kind of did. That colorful girl in me just stuck out. And you know I have my moments when I really want to be colorful. Um, $49. I don't know. This one's a maybe. I definitely, definitely need y'all's advice on it. Should I keep the kimono or should I send it back? Okay. These mid-rise Bermudas. Now, normally mid-rise bugs me, but this was kind of a high mid-rise. It didn't really bug me. Um, they're 64 so I don't know if I will keep them simply because they're $64. But they were cute, and I did like them. But, I don't know. I probably should keep them because now that I think about it, I probably will not have any shorts that are going to fit me for the summer because, you know, last year I was a size or two bigger. I need to look through my drawer and see about that. And this thing, although I did have fun playing with it, I don't know that I'd ever wear it. Now, if I was going to a resort and I wanted a swimsuit cover up, that would be one thing. But when I am, when I'm in a swimsuit, I'm in my pool and I don't really have to worry about having a cover up because if I get out of the pool, I'm either sunbathing or I'm drying off, getting ready to go inside, and I got a towel wrapped around me. So it's not something that I really just need in my wardrobe. I mean, I think you could make a fun little cute dress out of it, but that's just too much work for me, and especially for $59. So y'all let me know, what do you think? Am I making the right choices? Should I keep the Bermuda? Should I keep the white button shirt? Should I keep the kimono? Those are the ones I'm just not sure about. If nothing else, I will keep this top. What was it? Recreation by Thread and Supply. So yeah, y'all comment below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to press all those buttons. You know what to do. Y'all have a wonderful day and God bless.